Okay, I swear I make happier, funner videos on this channel. I do. I all day I've been thinking about whether or not to make this video. I heard about this way earlier today. A, a friend of mine told me it's like the last few uh, different chat, and here's how I found out. Right, I go to check my messages and I see. Is it weird that I just heard the Price is Right uh, fail sound, which is the dun 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 dun, dun uh, right? And he posted the sound effect. I'm like, why would you post that? So I scroll up and it's in, uh, somebody said, uh, somebody else sent the message that said Bob Barker died at 99. I'm like, what? So all day I've been just thinking about it. I'm still thinking about Bray Wyatt and Terry Funk. There was a beautiful tribute show yesterday night on SmackDown. I, there was tears. <laughs> I've been thinking about talking about that show. It was so damn good. And now, Bob Barker. And weirdly enough, I've seen this on more wrestling outlets than regular outlets. Like, Chris Jericho is apparently who reported it. Like, I read his tweet when he uh, wrote the news. And, and he shared the clip with him and Bob Barker on Monday Night Raw, which, remember in the Pee Wee Herman video, I said Pee Wee Herman was one of only two highlights in the infamous, much hated guest host years, well, the other highlight was Bob Barker, okay? Yeah, he fought the game Monday Night Raw and it somehow worked. <laughs> I watched that Chris Jericho clip and he almost broke, like, excuse me, like Jericho posted that Bob Barker was the only person to almost make him break. And then he posted a video, like, see if you can see where, yeah, I think I spotted where, but anyway, so Bob Barker, yeah, no, um, I first heard of Bob Barker, The Price is Right, when I was very young, like back in the 90s, my favorite aunt was like, you think you're homeless, so I can watch The Price is Right, and I thought that was a person, as in first name Prices, last name Wright, W-R-I-G-H-T, I'm like, who's that, and she's like, what, no, The Price is Right, Bob Barker, and everything, I'm like, okay, and so it was explained it to me, and I eventually, I watched the episode with her, I didn't think anything of it. Fast forward to when I was a teenager and I was homeschooled, recovering from uh, when I had my stroke. It was in August 2006. Actually, we just passed the 17th anniversary. And the irony, like, I, when I was home recovering because I couldn't go to school, I would watch daytime TV, the soap operas, those judge shows, and it got old. When Price is Right came on, that was a highlight. And I really grew like that show. And grew love to love, grew to love Bob Barker and everything. And yeah, that was like the year before he retired, but still, I got to experience it. And I went back actually, because there was a guest on there who said that he remembers from Bob Barker was the announcer and Rich Little was the host. I'm like, oh, I have to see that. He had it wrong. <laughs> what it was saying is, Price is Right's been around since the 50s. And it was the same, but obviously different back then, is what, what he was saying. Um,. Also, Happy Gilmore, when he whooped Adam Sandler's ass, Price is wrong, bitch, and then Bob Barker whoops his ass, and he's like, and he says the thing, which I now pop for when I watch that movie, I think you've had enough, then he hits it one more time, and it's like, now you've had enough, turns his head, bitch, and just walks off, I'm like, I was just watching that too a few weeks ago, but rewatching it, uh, and I remember he was on Futurama, the very first episode where we met Flexo, Bender's evil twin, right? And that's when I first noticed the differences in the way John DiMaggio, uh, yeah, John DiMaggio plays Bender, but also Flexo, because that's his evil twin, but there's differences in their voices. Like, when Flexo says Bob Barker, it's way softer than when Bender says it, because Bender doesn't care. He doesn't give a fuck. Flexo kind of does. And I remember that episode with the Joe Hush and everything, and of course, on Monday Night Raw, he became a highlight in an otherwise dark time professional wrestling. And this, he's like the fucking third loss in wrestling in four days. That is insane. Yes, he was 99. But wow, that is insane. Uh, I imagine there'll be a Price is Right tribute. So I'm still, like, like I said, recovering from the Bray Wyatt and uh, Terry Funk tribute show. Like... Or if I have another one in me at the moment. Uh, but yeah. This is crazy. And then, 
like I said, I make happier, funner videos. But as I was putting my stuff, like getting, like reading up and everything, I saw something else in the news. Spoilers. You got one more of these videos coming next. Like I'm about to film it. I can't believe that either. I it's what I don't know what. Yeah. Rest in peace, Bob Barker. He was obviously have your pet spayed or neutered. I still don't know what spayed means, but neutered, I know what that means. Uh, he was always an animal rights activist and everything. Refused to have, like, fur prizes on his show. He was a martial artist, I read. That's crazy. But yeah, man. Like, I, I, like, as recently as a few months ago, like, with Bray, like, I read that he was doing fine, living his best life. Now he's gone. Again, he was 99, but still. Uh... And that's literally a picture from him on Monday Night Raw, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Bob Barker. Uh, thank you for watching.